Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video talking about my favorite bookish couples. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I've been scrolling through YouTube pretty much for an embarrassing amount of time today, and I've been seeing this video pop up all day long. So I decided to do a really, really casual video talking about my favorite bookish couples. I came up with the couples in about five minutes, which was a lot harder than I was expecting because I thought I would have a lot, but it turns out I don't have as many as I thought I would. I think part of the reason is because I don't read a whole lot of books with a lot of romance in it. And if it's just like a romance novel, generally I'm not as attached to the characters as I am in my favorite books. So I only have five couples to talk to you about today, but they are some of my absolute favorites. So one of the couples is from the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, and my favorite couple is Vin and Eland. I absolutely love them together. The first book is one of my favorite books, partially because of those two characters meeting and getting to know each other. And I love their banter. I love the way that they talk. I love both of their characters, especially in this first book. And it's just so much fun to see them starting to like gather feelings with each other, even though they both know they're not really supposed to. And so it's definitely such a fun read. And I really love the romantic relationship that they have in the first book. So the next couple I wanna talk about is from The Night Circus, and this is maybe a little bit of a spoiler, so so if you want, don't wanna be spoiled for it, go ahead and skip to the timestamp for the next book that I'm gonna talk about, but in this one, main couple is Selena and Marco. I absolutely love their relationship and how they fall for each other, because for a good portion of this book, they don't even really know each other. They don't, they like kind of meet, but they're not really introduced to each other, but they fall in love with each other through their magic. And it's just so interesting, like seeing them fall in love with each other, even though they haven't really met, which is similar to how a lot of relationships happen these days, because people meet all over the internet a lot. Obviously this is not the internet. This is like, they fall in love with each other through their magic and the different things that they do through magic. And I absolutely love it. It was such an atmospheric way to write a romance that I was not expecting at all. The next couple that I want to talk about is from the Harry Potter series and I'm holding this one up because this is the love book in the Harry Potter series basically and that is Harry and Jenny. I absolutely love Harry and Jenny together. I think they're so good for each other. Jenny's character in the books is just such a strong character and I absolutely love her in the books and even though their relationship is not very like well de detailed in the books. I absolutely love them together. I think they make such a good couple and I'm really sad that so many people don't like it because I feel like most people when they talk about the couples in this books, it's always Ron and Hermione that get the most attention, but I really love Harry and Jenny so much more than Ron and Hermione. I mean, they're fine too, but Harry and Jenny are definitely my faves. The next couple that I want to talk about is from the Suki Stackhouse novel. So if you haven't read these books, it's also from the TV show True Blood. And I absolutely love Suki and Eric. I thought their relationship was so much fun. I know a lot of people like Suki and Bill better together. I never felt very comfortable with her relationship with Bill, but I feel like when she like starts falling for Eric, the situation that he's in, I don't want to say too much because it's like kind of spoilers if you haven't read the book or seen the show, but the situation that he's in, he's just like so humble in a way that's funny and she kind of takes care of him. It was just such a fun way to see her falling for him and I really enjoyed their relationship and they are definitely one of my favorites. And last, but probably my favorite out of all of these, is from A Court of Mist and Fury, and that is Farah and Rysand. Rysand is one of my favorite characters in this entire series, and I love their relationship and how it progresses. I wanted more from it, honestly, because there were definitely things that were left off in A Court of Thorns and Roses, the first one, that I felt like weren't quite realized in A Court of Mist and Fury. I still really love their relationship and Rysanne has to be one of my favorite love interests of all time. So this video was really casual and off the cuff. Let me know if you like it because I haven't really done this before where I think of a video and film it and edit it right away. So let me know if you enjoyed watching this style. Let me know down in the comments what are some of your favorite couples. I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, so consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. Also, show me the links 
links are down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!